time in Buffalo and with the Eagles. What are your fir- what's your first impression of the culture of this team after spending a, a few days practices with them? Um, it's it's a, a definitely a different kind of t- type of environment, a different culture. Um, because the last two organizations I went to uh, wasn't really a winning organization. So when you come to a, a place where it's known for winning and known for being in the postseason, uh, you you see the different type of culture they have and the expectations that they have naturally uh, and what they expect out of you as a player. What's up, everybody? Professor wrestler Chris Wild back on Eagles News now from Bar 4133 with another video just hours away from Eagles Bengals Week 3 crucial game. Who thought we'd be seeing that coming in to Week 3 of this season? Uh, look, this is going to be a short video, guys, because I can't get over. There's one thing I can't get over, um, and that's the Eagles linebackers, the lack of linebackers that we have on this football team, how it's been ignored all offseason, and it's really hurting us these first two weeks, especially last week against the Rams. Now, it worries me because we face the Bengals, um, whose head coach used to be with the Rams and basically took their playbook over to Cincinnati. They run all the same things. I mean, same verbiage, everything. Um, and he's going to see what worked against us, which was our linebackers got absolutely burnt, Nate Gary uh, in particular. So I'm trying to find out, is there any linebackers available right now that can come in here and be better than what we have? And it's hard to say no because these guys are bad. Um, as you saw in the open, uh, the first guy that I want to talk about here is linebacker Nigel Bradham, who had, was our linebacker the Super Bowl year, the 2018 year, and last year. The Eagles cut him due to salary cap purposes. Uh, he went to the Saints and said that at the press conference. They released him shortly after. Just really one of the more dumb things I've heard a player say. Um, I can get over it because, look, he's better than what we have. At least I know Nigel Bradham can't tackle unless there's some kind of – uh, injury that we don't know about. Um, he's not signed to another team yet. He's still a free agent. He's only 31 years old. Um, but again, I would bring him back in here. He knows the system. He could probably play right away. Um, the Eagles need help at linebacker. I wouldn't mind, despite the stupidity that this guy uh, had when he said that, um, I would still welcome him back into the Eagles. I am that fed up with our linebackers. There's some other guys here that I'll be honest, I don't know a lot about. So I'll leave it up to you guys in the comments to let me know if this would be a good fit or not. I'm also looking at Darren Lee, who was with the Kansas City Chiefs um, last year, and then before that was with the New York Jets. Um, he is currently a free agent, only 25 years old. Now, he is suspended the first four weeks, so he wouldn't be able um, to play for the Eagles until after the Steelers game. It might already be too late by then, um, but that is a name that's floating around. Um, some older guys, our free agents, are still out there. I talked about earlier in the offseason, maybe Clay Matthews. I don't know if he'd fit the scheme. Um, but again, Clay Matthews at 34 years old is better than Nate Gary is, uh, is right now, is better than TJ Edwards is right now. These guys are just absolutely getting demolished on the field. Um, another old guy, Wesley Woodyard, I don't know if he's still even wanting to play. He's also 34 years old with the Tennessee Titans. Um, again, just another guy that is better than what we have. And all these names that I just mentioned, Bradham, Lee, Woodyard, Matthews, all better. And what about Michael Kendricks? What's the deal with Michael Kendricks? I know he's not signed with the team. I'm guessing um, it's due to injury. I think he had an ACL injury at like week 17, so he might not even be physically healthy to play yet. Uh, again, I would take him on one leg over Nate Gary on two legs at this point. Um, and then another name is already on our team, and that's Sean Bradley. Uh, heard a bunch of great things during minicamp and in the offseason about this rookie out of Temple. Um, why not give him some more snaps? I mean, at this point, what can it hurt? When Tyler Higby is putting up three touchdowns on you, when you can't tackle Daryl Henderson, um, there is an issue. There's a serious problem. And again, none of these guys might help. None of these, these guys might come in. It might be worse. I don't know. But I'm willing to take the chance at week three uh, as we head into week three where the Eagles have to win a game against the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, and I'm questioning if that is even going to happen. Uh, and the big part of it is this defense and is this linebacking core that's just been absolutely ignored by Howie Roseman, by Jim Schwartz, um, and by Doug Peterson. I mean, you can't go into a season and see this big hole there 
uh, and just let it go and think you're going to be okay when you have the division that you're in. Again, Saquon Barkley's out, but you know, going into the season, um, you were thinking you're going to have to face Saquon. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott, you've got you know the Steelers on your team on your. Uh, and James Conner on your schedule. You've got the 49ers running game on your schedule. You've got Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens on your schedule. I mean, Aaron Jones and the Packers. You've got runners. you got running teams um, that are going to absolutely steamroll uh, this linebacking core because as of right now, the defensive line isn't giving you anything either. So what do you think, guys? Any of these guys could help? Again, I think if there's one, it's Nigel Bradham. I don't see why he wasn't signed after uh, – the Rams game. And again, Nigel Bradham is not a cover linebacker either. So I, I get it. Tyler Higby probably would have burnt him too. Um, but at the same time, at least I can count on Nigel Bradham to tackle. I, I know I got him on that. Uh, all right, guys, that's all I got for you. Stay tuned tomorrow. Um, Saturday morning preview or Sunday morning, I'm sorry, preview. Eagles and Bengals hours before kickoff. You can find that here on Eagles News Now. Thanks for joining us, joining me, guys. Um, stay safe. Stay healthy. Go Birds, as always, I'll see you guys later.